Synopsis Podcast Massacre contains spoilers and adult language. For more horror, visit us at our website at texaspodcastmassacre.com. To another episode of Texas Podcast Massacre, coming to you from Houston, Texas. I'm your host Mitch, and with me, as always, is my own terrifier, Nate. <laughs> the problem with that is no one knows if you're doing terrifier too, or if you're doing uh, audition. Yeah, that one's <laughs> that one's closer to that. So there you go. Well, <laughs> so terrifier too, apparently. <laughs> There you go. That's it. There you, you got go. it. You well, know the whole. You know the. You know the whole movie now. Yeah. Well, welcome to another episode of Texas Podcast Massacre, where each week we take a look at a horror related topic and um, debate. Or sorry, we take a look at a horror movie and debate a horror related topic with our unsuspecting victim, who is usually not someone we consider a horror fan. There was no way in hell we were getting anyone to do this one with us. Let's just I, off the bat, no. you know, like no, I, I don't have a, no. I don't have a good like little like oh we love someone no. N- we saw this at Fantastic Fest. So this week's movie of the week is Terrifier 2. Um, we saw this movie at Fantastic Fest. Um, the problem is, it, it, it is a good thing. This movie's been doing very well in the movie theaters. Um, I'll tell you how well. Yeah, we'll get into the specifics, obviously. But the problem with it doing so well is that, like, the re- it's the reason it's doing so well, which is that there is just, like, viral like news stories of people like fainting you know throwing up passing out um running out of the theater at this and so that's helping to spur this um and so when you're trying to find someone who like you're trying to talk like hey you want to watch this movie and do a podcast episode about it um it's a resounding fuck no <laughs> like just no like i mean i i this it, Nate is, has this been the like the most okay so normally when we like try to get guests like at least from our friend group and and people we know um it's usually like uh you know oh maybe you know we'll, we'll see. you know it's a lot of like hemming and hauling but you know this was just a outright was this the hardest like is this the hardest sell and I and I asked this from a if you out there are a horror fan and you're trying to you know you want to see this movie and you want to bring your unsuspecting uh, victim friend with you I mean I feel like this is like the hardest sell maybe we've had except for like i don't know like a serbian tale or something a serbian film yeah it is a tale too but uh <laughs> i mean we haven't done that a tale of one, a tale of, one a tale of one city yeah i don't know i this movie well the you know it's not great when the lady at fantastic fest says this this one's a this one's a bit extreme like oh oh <laughs> no uh oh, that's the whole point. So, oh, this one's a little extra than the normal. But uh, yeah, there's no way anyone's watching this with us. So this is yeah. So but you compare you compared this movie to Halloween Ends numerous times last you know in last month. So well, I did say now that, you got to put your money where your mouth. Well, this movie. Oh well, well, don't worry. I'm 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 I will def- I will back up my words and and what I said. Um. All right. Well, look. We're gonna get into this week's episode, as you may be able to tell. Uh, maybe not if I if I'm doing my job as the editor for this thing, right? Yeah, what um, kind of yeah, what kind of filters you got on? This yeah, thing? we uh, both Nate and I are are, are sick. Um, not like terribly sick, but just not, not from terror, not from terrifier, not just. from terrifier. Um, just I don't know. Maybe it's from all the Halloween candy. Maybe it was from I don't know. I hate to think that it was Halloween that did this. But in any case, it's really from children. Here, here, PSA: If you uh, don't have kids currently, and you're like, "Hey, you know, I hardly get sick," that changes. So if that's if you need a reason to not have kids, like that's that is up in that bucket because it it's just it's Petri Farms that you're raising. 
effectively. Is that fair? I don't know what a pe- what's a petri farm. What's what a, it's a petri there? dish, but there's multiple of them, so it's a farm. But I, <laughs> I don't know what is happening. But I agree. I.e. Well, a lab. I.e. a lab. Otherwise, okay. <laughs> what we're in, we're 12, what intellectuals like, might call a laboratory, Nate? We got we got two monkeys. That's it. <laughs> not, not twelve. Just two of them. Oh man, yeah. Well, um, yeah. To to answer and to answer a question, does, does Terrifier two does that like slow down your immune system? I mean, I, who I, who knows? I did so. I did try to get Lisa to jump back in on this one. Absolutely. And absolutely not. No. no, no. no I mean, she no, looked at no. it and was like, no. Now, I will say this with Terrifier 2. If you have a. If, so, off the bat, before we even get to all the non spoiler part and the spoiler part, uh, not unsuspecting victim friendly by any stretch. However, no. if, you, if you've never seen Terrifier, don't know what we're talking about, um, you know, go just look up Art the Clown. Uh, I think we're going to talk about it in the bait question, but. Um, if you have someone in your life that like is terrified of clowns, just send them gifts of art the clown. I I at the beginning of each week, I send my sister a gif of art the clown just just to say hi cuz she is keep like her on, keep her honest. terrified of clowns. And um yeah, yeah you, you, sent her, you sent her a picture from when we went, I believe. I did with with the standy. Oh man, if I was I was banking on on the dude actually being dressed up like Art the Clown, but he was dressed up like a normal dude. <sighs> he was extremely nice and talked with us. Yeah, he's, he's, he's like, he's like, he's like, a, cool he's like a tall Stephen Merchant type, and you know it's it's nice. It's not what I was expecting. Not what I was wanting. How do you how do you tell someone that like hey it, I'm kind of bummed to meet you because I really wanted you to be this like crazy clown dude and not like. Your normal self. This movie is made for a quarter million dollars. Like uh, they might have rented all that stuff. I don't, <laughs> I don't know if they even had it anymore. Oh my goodness! Oh so, right. yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, look, we're gonna get into it, but of course, let's let's have a little quick debate. Bid our father, the Sea King, rise from the depths, full foul in his fury. Black waves teeming with salt foam. To smother this young mouth with punch and slime. All right, Nate. You, uh, you do you have a debate question? I have something lined up, but I I always like to. You tend to have. Um, I want to hear yours. Oh, I I, I had one, but uh, now I'm interested in yours. Eh, I don't know that mine's like super great. I just do you know it, do it's fine. It. That's fine. I you know I think it's it's one to talk about. I mean, I mentioned that Terrifier Two has been doing just great um i you know i think the first movie you know we haven't done that review but I, i've kind of been on record the first movie is not all that good i think it's just it's just a really good character study and i i think we even talked about i don't know if we talked about it on the show or nate it was just you and i just talking but kind of mentioned i i would have really enjoyed like an anthology type of film with art the clown I, and again look i maybe i just say that because i just like anthologies and so i just in my life no yeah we were in agreement on that yeah but i was like oh art the clown's cool the the story they had for the first one was real weird uh, we'll get into how the story is on this one but i turned that i turned that one off i uh, will I, one, I just turned like nope i'm done yeah i watched it all the way through but um to be fair this is probably these, these type of films are more up my alley than maybe yours um i but, I, but i'll say this there's something i mean there's something very unique about art the clown as a character and now as this movie is really kind of taking off um and it's really i mean this is really a vehicle for Art the clown they both are but now you've got a little bit more of the universe expanding out where i'm just curious where does art the clown stack up with the other like iconic horror monsters like where would you where would you put him if you were like stack ranking them or whatever right Oh God! Um, jeez. I mean, in in what way? The movies are just how the character. The character. Or the We're just talking character, kills. not the movies, because. Yeah. Okay, so like, look, look and kills. That's it. Yeah, look, kills. I mean, just. Yeah, it, and the less you involve about the movie, the better art the clown does. That, that's, <laughs> so well, that's that's why, that's that's fair. That's why and I mean, I ask. yeah, and I mean, you know, think about. I mean, just think about your. You know, I think about like when you see some of these monsters, you know, you're like, oh, I want to see them on the screen. I'm, I'm, you know, I think Freddy Krueger, right? Most of the time you're spending in, in, or Hellraiser, you're waiting for them to show up. Like you want to see the villain because they're so badass, right? Or the killer, right? 
Um, like where, where, where would, where would art stack for you? So art, the clown has an extremely long, distinctive face. Look very long, very pointy nose guy in real life. I think we mentioned it before, but looks like an account. So <laughs> they did some great, uh, they did some great makeup work, which we'll, I'll get into with the directors. That's his whole deal. Um, is doing sweet makeup stuff. So that's why this movie has great makeup. Art the Clown, look, the look is incredible. Mm-hmm. It looks very, like I said, it's, if you see this dude, you're like, yeah, oh, that's that dude. Like, there's no, you're not mistaken. You're not mistaken this for like bag over the face killer number nine or anything like that. Sure. Like this, this is instant uniqueness. So that's a high score there. Mm-hmm. The kills are absolutely ridiculous. Uh, mm-hmm. And extremely brutal in a way most movies are not. Uh, like if you were to rank the brutality, I just keep dunking on Halloween ends, but rank the brutality of the kills for Halloween ends versus this movie. It's just like you're not even like in the same like you're not even the same zip code at that point. This movie I mean, is- Terrifier Two is a setup for just some rough stuff. Um, so. That being said, some of the kills are absolutely ridiculous and kind of gross, even for me. Uh, But there are some good ones. So I'd say solidly upper middle of the pack, maybe? Below Leprechaun, obvious. Um, But I'm going to say you and I are probably going to differ on Leprechaun. Like a C, like a C, like a B minus. Like like a B minus compared to like all the other ones, which is saying a lot for a movie that was part of an anthology or a short film. Part of an anthology. First movie made for 35K. Second movie made for a quarter million dollars. So, That's not bad at all. So let me <laughs> let me let me ask it this way. So obviously I don't think either one of us is putting him on like a Mount Rushmore of horror, where it's I mean, your top four, right? Or what Freddie, Michael, Jason, and for you inexplicably, I'm gonna Leprechaun. guess Leprechaun. Um otherwise, maybe, maybe um uh Pinhead, right? Or the priest, apparently. We're calling him that now. Yeah. Um, that sounded very drunk uncle-esque, and I didn't mean it to be. <laughs> you are. You are drunk uncle right now. I'm, I'm just, no, I'm just sick uncle. At this I mean, point. what about I'm like, just, a, what about like a ghost face? What about a ghost face? I mean, ghost face is up there. Um, pretty high. Pretty high. I, I, Leather would you face. Put, would you put, face. yeah. All the faces. Yeah, so I mean. Jigsaw. Jigsaw. Okay, so you, you do you like Pennywise. jigs? Do you like jigsaw? And I'm assuming you're thinking the puppet, not like. Or the pig mask. Which one are we talking when we talk to Jigsaw? I'm just the character. Okay. Okay. So you don't you have you have Art the Clown below Jigsaw. Yes. Okay. What's below Jigsaw? It's Art. What's All right. The- Jeepers Creepers or Art oh, the Clown? Oh, below below Art below Art the Clown. Okay. Okay. Well, that's good. That's, I agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. Um, yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh he, so and Nate, you've been getting into fantasy football, so this is like your your slasher. I'm your. Is he a slasher one for you? Is he a is he a slasher uh, he's, two? He's or like we, a he's like a flex. The top play. twelve. Oh, aren't the clowns he's a, a flex? flex? Play. No, he's a flex play, but he's but he's not gonna sit on the bench. Like, look, you know, I love the ring, but I would probably put Art the clown above like Samara or Sadako. Oh, I don't know about that. Maybe that's, not. Well, because the ring is more because the, the ring and all the imagery is more than than. Sonica. Maybe maybe the grudge. I'd have the grudge above um art. But I don't know. Art's so it, like art's approaching Freddy Krueger levels of entertaining. Wow, you are, you, you and, drank you drank the 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 clown aid here. I'm I'm definitely you're, eating you're really at the clown. I'm definitely at yeah, at the clown cafe. I'm definitely You're in the clown car. For I'm, sure in, right <laughs> I'm, I'm at the clown cafe. Um I don't know. I look there's something about him as a character and, and it's certainly interesting. I mean, it's There's enough to give these, it's enough you. to draw. I mean, make these real shitty movies have some steam because some of the other ones, I mean, let's be, let's be honest, like Michael Myers, some of these other ones had like a great story and a great movie to really drive it. Art the clown really didn't. I mean, Art the clown is seen because art the clown is awesome. Right. Awesome. As a all, all Hallows Eve. Yeah. He's from the short, or short film and then was in All Hallows Eve. Yeah. So um, and then got a full movie and then got another movie. And according to the QA after, in which director uh 
<laughs> the director Damien Leone was heckled by one of his own crew. Uh, so that was something. It was terrifying. Like the it, it, terrifying never stops. It knows no bounds. What is it about the midnight movies we went to where the their own people were heckling themselves? There have been a couple of Birdemic, Terrifier. This is great company here. So, um, but this guy also does a bunch, does special effects for other movies and things yeah. like that as well. So, so yeah, so it's it a so, little bit of work. So I mean, I have them. I have them right around like a top twelve, top near ish, a top ten, probably certainly in the top twenty. I'd say maybe top that's 15. incredible. That's incredible. Uh, that's I, I can't go anywhere that high. Because there's there's some that are like it's cool monsters, but like the monster's not what you're there to see. It's the overall movie and all that. I just, I mean, I'd almost take. Wow, well, I don't know about that. I was gonna say the smile, the smile monster, but I, I think I'd probably no, take you... Art the Clown over the smile over the final form smile monster. Was pretty good. That would be a tough one. I'd probably go Art the Clown on that one though. What was your debate question? No, nah, it's fine. We got it. <laughs> <laughs> we got it well let let us know what your debate question is <laughs> um or what you think yeah well, let us know where art the clown stacks up for you you know are you are you drink are you hanging out the clown cafe with me or um <laughs> are you hanging out at the end of the rainbow with, hanging with, out. with uh nate with the leprechaun crowd let yeah. us know at Texas Podcast Massacre at gmail.com. TX Pod Massacre on Twitter. Texas Podcast Massacre everywhere else. Um, 346 246 Nate, Nate had it ready to go. I didn't even get through my spiel. He just doesn't matter. Just, Call up. Just <laughs> Let give, us know if you saw Terrifier 2, and, and oh, Mitch yeah. will guarantee geek out with you. A little bit. Via, little via bit. voicemail. A little bit. For sure. All right. Well, uh, look. Let's let's just get into this week's movie of the week, Terrifier 2. So, did you figure out what you're dressing up as tomorrow? He wants to dress up as a real guy who murdered nine people last year. Oh, you're not doing that. That's just a costume. You think that guy's still out there? What's up with you and this clown all of a sudden? You're like obsessed. They never found his body. What if he decides to come back here? I wouldn't worry about it. Wait a minute, aren't you that guy from the costume shop? Sir, what are you doing? It wasn't me. He was covered in blood on his shirt and his hands when he got here. I'm telling you it was him, Ellie. Right down to the little black dot on the tip of his nose. You're really weird, you know that? <laughs> I believe him. About what? Something really bad's gonna happen tonight. No, I, I know when Jonathan's lying, okay? I, I could hear it in his voice something's something's wrong look we're gonna have fun mm -hmm. stress-free environment yep. speaking of surprises kids we have a very special guest with us today all the way from miles county please welcome art the clown I mean, so good. Uh, <laughs> uh, Nate, uh, for uh, Nate, what can you tell us about this movie? Oh, I'm 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 probably the unexpected victim in this one. Uh, Terrifier two uh, doesn't really matter if you saw Terrifier one, other than it does the same thing that Halloween Kills tried to do. That was like, oh my god, remember the first one? It like causes like the whole town to like lose its humanity and whatever. But it somehow does it more effectively, which is just ridiculous for Halloween kills. <laughs> that's that's embarrassing. Uh, because Terrifier 2 does a better job of showing that. Uh, but basically, Art the Clown's back. 
and mm-hmm. with like eight times the budget, which gets you up to a quarter mil. Um, so far in the box office, almost eight million dollars. Not bad off a quarter million dollar budget. Third one seems to be on the way already. I'm sure it will. Uh, I'm sure it will. Uh, yeah, he announced be it greenlit. The, uh, I mean, yeah. he announced it at the midnight showing, which could have just been him drinking, being like, "Yeah, sure, whatever." Uh, <laughs> uh, fair. I was not out of character for that event, but uh, Blade Disgusting is the one putting this on. Put it out earlier in October. Um, they're going to put it on Screenbox, which is the the bloody disgusting streaming thing, so you can see that um, later on. I don't know when that's going to happen, but it has been staying in the theaters. I think it's already like it's on Screenbox for Halloween. Did they take it off or? Oh, I no, I I, I don't have Screenbox, so oh yeah, it's on Screenbox now. They correct. put they had it ready on Halloween night actually. Oh, okay, great. Okay, so a couple of days ago. Uh, great. Yeah. So the. Uh, Go watch on Screenbox if you have Screenbox. If not, just get a trial of Screenbox. Seems yeah, pretty easy. I, you might like it. Uh, yeah, there not was another spon- Screenbox. <laughs> not <movie>. a sponsor. <laughs> there was another Screenbox movie that we saw. It was the it was the one under in the catacombs. I think was another Screenbox movie. Uh, at the theater, you mean? Yeah, like oh, like the dime store as above, so below from. Oh, uh, oh yeah, the French one. Yeah, yeah. I don't it was this dime store yeah. as above, so below. Uh, so yeah, so there you go, Screenbox. Uh, yeah, so the movie, again, quarter million dollars made $7.9 million. This movie is two hours and 18 minutes. Whoo. Whoo. It was long. long. It's a long. This was a, this, this was a midnight movie. Too. <laughs> yeah, it was. So you're, you're getting home at 3 a.m., guys. Uh, just heads up. But it was very entertaining uh, for sure. Um, yeah, it was it was crazy. I mean, the people who were there, uh, Art the Clown was there, so that was cool. I mean, that's basically all you need at that point. The director of Art the Clown, uh, Felissa Rose, your favorite actress of all time, Mitch was in the movie. Had a cameo. Mm-hmm. Yep, had a cameo. There were a couple cameos. Your boy Chris Jericho was there. I got to meet Chris Jericho because of uh, Terrifier Terrifier too. So that this is why it's rocketing up the ranks for you now. I, now I'm understanding it a little bit better. It, it it helped, although I did spend half the movie going, "Where is Chris Jericho?" <laughs> he's at the very he's at the very end. He's at yeah. the very end of the movie. So yeah, so Damien Damien Leone is the, the the director of this movie. So basically, um, uh, All Hallows Eve is your movie, right? Uh, you know, VHS tape. Murders, psychotic clown, art the clown, kind of got in there, then made a full Terrifier movie, then made Terrifier 2. Sounds like Terrifier 3 already happened. I don't know what you can do in Terrifier 3 based on the ending, which we'll get into in the spoiler section, but I'm not even sure what that would mean. But yeah, (laughs) but apparently it's happening. Uh, And Terrifier, like I said, was also earlier, was also a short film, it was a 20 minute movie. In 2011, this guy's been basically living Terrifier for a decade. What, what do you think about that, Mitch? You know, I think when you when you know you've got a concept, you know, and you know you've got like, I think this speaks to our debate question. You've got a character that is so it, it stands out and is a very and is very strong. You, you're really just trying to like. It's really about getting the right um, story along with it. I think they finally kind of figured out a formula here with this one but maybe they didn't have on the first yeah yes yeah, so i'm i'm good with that you know i mean fuck we're still doing you know what 60 ass years of uh michael myers so yeah sure why not uh, i don't know where you got 60 from but yeah i agree well it There's came out in the 70s right 1978 but yeah it's i mean it's we're approaching 40 we're- 44 <laughs> That's I, a hard rounding. That's a hard <laughs> rounding. That's, uh, that is that is this is episode brought to you by Nyquil, I guess. Um, yeah, <laughs> Nyquil. <laughs> Nyquil. You take Nyquil, it adds up to sixty years. I don't know. Better. Just move on. Move on. <laughs> so this guy, but this guy also. I mean, this is like you know he's been doing Terrifier for a long time, but he hasn't got much budget, right? And he's had to really shop this movie and kind of. Really, there's a there's a independent spirit to this, obviously. Um, that you know, hopefully will be helped by streaming on uh, you know Screenbox. Was the original one on Netflix for a while? Did I remember that, or did that not happen? 
That could be a night cool I thing. Don't, I don't know. I don't remember. Maybe. Yeah, but I, I, yeah, but I don't remember because anyway. I don't remember where I saw it. I, I, I'm sure I saw it on some streaming service. I just don't it was just what. in in your in your sleep. Just classic, <laughs> classic terror. But this guy was doing special effects, makeup work, um, and in the makeup department for other movies. I, I believe in between these films, just to kind of keep going. Uh, and so I'm hoping that this one will put him firmly into. Hey, I could focus on getting you know Terrifier three out. You know, to a larger audience, yeah, because it's it's definitely interesting. Say what you want, it is interesting. This you're not confusing this movie with a lot of other movies. That, that's not happening. So, um, but yeah, All Hallows Eve was extremely creepy. Uh, and then there's another movie that he's producing called Stream, uh, where it features uh, David Howard Thornton. Uh, Art the Clown in this movie. Danielle Harris, D. Wallace, Jeffrey Combs from Reanimator, Tony Todd, Felissa Rose. What do you think about that movie? Are you interested in that movie? There's a lot of people in that. Yeah. Um, All right. See, you go. See, now he's producing a little bit too, throwing it in. So I'm hoping, hoping everything goes well for Damien because he seems like a cool dude. Um, you got the lead in this one uh, is Lauren Lavera who, I mean, for a movie that was made for almost no money, surprisingly good. Oh, she's like very the, good. She's she was, she was she, good as she's, the lead, she's which, absolute, is su- which is surprising in these kind of films. Yeah, she's absolutely uh, a highlight in this movie. I mean, she's she is a very solid um, final girl. Yeah, well, it doesn't it doesn't hurt that in real life uh, she knows Taekwondo, Jiu Jitsu, Muay Thai and more. And trained to be a ballroom dancer and ballet dancer. So, well, yeah, I mean, you know, that there you go. She's pulling off, she's pulling off. Those stuff are skills movie. that would probably help in the situation. I guess, are the <laughs> that's true. She's also in a movie coming up called The Fetus. So, is it a The Suckling 2? We'll have to find out coming out this year in post production. Got Bill Mosley in it. Is Bill Mosley play The Suckling 2? Could be incredible. Um, so she's still doing stuff. David Howard Thornton, the guy looks like an accountant, but is ridiculously creepy in the makeup as Art the Clown. Uh, he's in a lot of small stuff, but he's in that stream movie, right? And he's going to be in Night of the Living Dead too. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and say no affiliation. <laughs> To George, to George A. Romero's uh, property, but that looks to be a 2023 release. So there you go, Mitch. All, all right, <laughs> Night of the Living Dead two. Just what they going like? They, they're gonna they're going the uh, Italian uh, film route. Uh, we're just gonna like just claim it's a sequel without having anything to do with it. That's absolutely correct. That's the Italian 70s strategy. He's in a movie called The Mean One, and I almost like spit out my drink when I read this, but then I realized there was a couple letters different, but it's a blonde lady playing the mayor in this movie called The Mean One with David Howard Thornton, whose name is Amy Schumacher. Oh my God. What? <laughs> but look kind of closer from the from the picture. I would have been very excited if Amy Schumer was in a movie with uh, Art the Clown. That would have been that would have been pretty. Hey, there's sweet. still there's still time. Um, yeah, that, that, those are the highlights acting wise from the film. So, uh, again, movie is made on a, on a really small budget. The effects are incredible. You can tell this guy's an effects guy. I mean, it's it's just there's a there's a lot going on, and there's a lot of blood, a lot of blood getting pumped, a lot of prosthetic y stuff. People aren't just getting stabbed, and that's it. There's there's usually a little extra. Yeah. Uh, I for mean, a lot of these that is just like, ooh. I ooh, would man. say inventive kills, ooh. but I, I very just more so disturbing. It's more, br- more brutal, brutal than inventive. Although inventive too, to be honest. Yeah. Um, no, yeah. I mean, no, no one has sat here going like, oh, how can we make this particular effect work? Because they're like, oh, yeah, probably get banned for that shit. Um, yeah. Movie, it's, a, it's an old school, just like really gory movie. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so there's that. And then tagline is who's laughing now? <laughs> nice. Uh, the answer is art, the clown, art, the clown is always laughing. Now, Nate, you, um, 
you've heard, you've seen the reports that people have been fainting, passing out, running out, mass hysteria. Uh, I don't know about mass hysteria, but mm, okay. I'm just okay. reading. I'm reading between the lines of these news reports. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what uh, okay. how, what was? Is that an oversell? Do you think that's accurate? What do you What do you think? There are some gross your... moments, man. If you're if you were going to go see like, oh, this is like a slasher horror movie, and you got this, I mean, you could get caught. You could get caught off guard. Yeah, I think if you've we'll never get into the spoiler yeah. section, but there is one or two things like, oh, oh, oh boy. Like there are oh, people boy. who have so not if you, watched. If you got caught off guard, you can yeah. see it. Yeah, I was gonna say sorry. I, I, there are people that um I think have never seen like a movie like kind of like Hostel or Green Inferno, you know, some of those. Like they've they've just yeah, the seen like they've just people. seen yes. like Halloween and then or stuff like that, right? You're you know, or all the Bloom House films. And uh you can't just go from like paranormal activity to this shit and not be like somewhat traumatized. Like you know you've got you've got to work your way to be able to handle Art the Clown, I feel like. Um, like I mean, yeah. there's there are just some kills in here, and I don't know how much we want to get into on this on the spoiler free section. But um, Nate, what were we, I mean, I mean, I, well, you know, I'm reading these reports about people like passing out and vomiting everywhere and all this. And as I as I I think I I recalled, um, I think I told you and some of our friends, I was like, yeah, I think I'm pretty much sure I watched this while having like a milkshake and like like I was just eating food and like it was great. Yeah, I drink so, I drink your milkshake. Yeah, that's great. That sound that didn't sound right, but uh, our <laughs> art art drink your milkshake. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, but it, it had parts, so yeah, it's it's crazy. The uh, yeah, I, I guess let's, let, let, we can go briefly into the plot here. It's basically Halloween kills, uh, but there's less people banding together mm-hmm. to try to kill someone who's unrelated to it, and more banding together to party and dress like Art the Clown. But it's kind of a similar, it's got like the whole town is, you know, like it's impacted and it's crazy. So, you know, it it was, it, it, it did strike me, you know, they have this whole, and you heard in the trailer, they had this whole thing about the brother wanting to dress like art, the clown, there's whole thing. And I mean, I, I was getting similar vibes and and even in real life of people who are like, because that Jeffrey Dahmer uh, show came out, people were like, oh, I'm going to go as Jeffrey Dahmer for Halloween. Like what, what is yeah wrong yep. with you um, gross so gross. this uh this had that same sort of gross feel with it um although in this movie it's a little more acceptable because you're like oh yeah this kid gonna get it um well it's weird will yeah. he get it find out in the spoiler section um nate i mean overall what would you what you think about this uh, I mean, man, if you are into horror movies, into slasher specifically, then you're probably going to like a lot about this. The movie, I will say, yeah, there's some positives and negatives, right? And we'll get into the details. But positive, Art the Clown is just ridiculous. Uh, he makes you laugh in this one. He maybe makes you cry, depending on. <laughs> you might, you might, you might get a oh. The people, the people puking and running out are crying. So, yeah. Yeah. It's... And and the kills are, if if you're coming for kills. Yeah, you're getting it. Halloween kills, ironically, very few kills compared to this. Uh, it should just been Halloween. <laughs> Let's just go back to the original. Like, don't even put kills at the end because Terrifier 2 is coming out right about the same time. And uh, the kills are ratcheted up. Mm-hmm. There are a lot of them. Uh, they're diverse. Some of them are more normal and some of them are not. It is all over the place. But yeah, if you are a big slasher person, if you are the core Texas podcast massacre demographic of like, Oh yeah, I've seen like all, yeah, I've seen all these movies and this is, this is it for you. This is, this is a pinnacle. If you haven't heard Mitch talking, it is this low budget slash city and uh, it delivers from that aspect. Movies two hours, 18 minutes long. If it was about 30 minutes shorter, Ooh, this could have been, this could have been real good, but they sit, they sit with the characters for a long time. I think it works for maybe one. The other characters I don't care about. The main lead, she is fantastic. So the stuff about her, I was okay sitting with so that when things happen to her, it is a little more impactful. Again, something they did not do in Halloween Kills. How is Terrifier 2 have a bad 
like a better, more believable story and protagonist than Halloween. I have no clue, uh, but it but it it does it. I, if I if if I'm comparing those two movies, it does it. So if that was something that you thought was missing from there, this is your movie. So I would say if you like that, then go for it. Uh, if you like movies more like The Witch, probably not going to be your favorite <laughs> favorite. <laughs> Okay, if so if you're, in, if you're coming in from if you're, Pearl, if you're and, a snob, yeah. then, then absolutely. Yeah, exactly. I straddle the line with this one a little Nate, bit. Nate, I, I love that you play the snob on some of these where you're like, oh, this is too lowbrow. But you, again, are the ginger dead man slash uh, leprechaun aficionado of this. There's uh, a way to do it right. There's a way, there's a way to do it right. Well, I think they figured it out. I mean, I, you and I, when we did our ranking of all the movies we saw, you and I, va- I, I think this one may have had, like, we were pretty much similar by one or two spots for each movie. I think this was the one that was, like, vastly different for both of us. Um, and I I loved it. I, I really went in not expecting a lot. I kind of, we kind of jokingly put it on and we're like, okay, we're going to do this, but it's probably going to be bad, but I'm really just going because i want to see if the video is going to show up as art the clown because uh I that was, was the main draw for you that, that was because i wanted to uh, you know torment my my poor sister um and i know everyone listening is like oh that's that's me you're treating your sister that way go listen to some episodes where i've talked about what they've did to me as a kid <laughs> babysitting me with using Fred, uh freddy krueger to scare the shit out of me um so well deserved in my opinion um no but that said um this movie's great I was really surprised about just how good of a story it was. I feel like to your point, they really did spend a lot of time with her. And I think they had to do it because the first movie didn't do enough of that to, to get you going. Right. I mean, I think the first movie is what it is. You know, we haven't done a review of that yet. Um, you know, in, in we're, our tradition. we're not going to, we're not going to. Five star review. You let us know. We'll. Oh damn it! Yeah, that's the <laughs> Do I get a veto? Is there like a like you just get like one? No, stamp? no. There's not. No, there's there's, there's no, not. There's no, stamps. There's, there's no 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 veto. All right, human centipede versus terrifier. That's that's the race. No, no one has done it yet. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Oh, I hope human centipede wins out. That would make me so happy. All right, but look, I mean, the problem is that one. I mean, didn't have much of a story to go to go through. It was really just trying to just. I mean, it's just do it. It was doing all of the same sort of like over the top, really gory, brutal kills, but without a, a cohesive story or any characters you actually cared about. I think they figured it out, but they had to make this one longer so that you could buy into like this sort of expanded universe and it more about like these characters and setting up the Hattiesburg. If we're gonna keep with the the um or the hate, uh, sorry, not Hattiesburg. Jesus Christ, um, you know. Field. Haddonfield, thank you. You know, sticking with the the is that Hattiesburg, name. Mississippi. Is that what you're talking? What is <laughs> happening? No, what is happening? My brain doesn't doesn't work. It's too much too much uh, jambalaya and boudin. It just clogs up everything up there. That's fair. Yeah. Um, I just really liked it. Uh, you know, yeah, the the kills are very brutal. I mean, it's gonna be. This is not something you're gonna just be able to like. If you're if you're just not used to like super gory grindhouse type movies like over the top kills and um and that like level of gore and practical effects you're going to yeah you're going to be in for a shock and there's nothing any of us can say to prepare you for it <laughs> you know like watch up other horror films and get ready for it because it, you're you're not going to be able to just go into this kind of cold and and it, I mean absolutely you couldn't take an unsuspecting victim uh to this easily I yeah. mean, you, you could you could be a total asshole i guess <laughs> yeah it's just not this is not this is not this is but like, you never get them you to go be, to another movie again if you trick them into this exactly movie. you gotta be you gotta be deep you gotta be deep into this uh yeah. like but if you're know. if you're into like really like yeah grindhousey gore splatter fest i think you're gonna be really pleasantly surprised with this film um and yeah the the lead she does a great job um you think she'll be back? So let's let's. I, oh, maybe we can talk about the third, a potential third one in the spoilers. But yeah. I, I'd be interested to see how how that will work. I think she does. Okay. All right. Thank. All right. So recommendation. So you're a resounding yes. A uh, yes for horror film. A hell hell to the. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you, I'd say yes for slasher. Huge slasher fans for sure. 
And if that's you're, I mean, break. look, if you're, if you're a unsuspecting victim, the least no, special, no, hell to the now. No, no, even that drop, no, even that drop no, sounds no. like sick. What's that? <laughs> Do you like the audio quality drop? What happened to that drop? <laughs> that could just be my ears. My ears might be shutting. I don't know. I don't know what's happening. All right. Uh, look, look, <laughs> on that note, let me uh, let's uh, uh there's that. Uh yeah. So I mean, look, I don't know how much longer it's gonna be in theaters. I it, it's good if you can go with other people. Um it's probably I mean we probably enjoyed it. A lot of our enjoyment probably had to be with other people losing their shit over it too. So yeah, go see it in theaters if you get the opportunity. Um but yeah, otherwise now it's on screen box, you can watch it at home. Go see it if you're into those type of movies. Um but look, if you haven't seen it, get out of here because it is time for some spoilers. Get out of here, witch. So just, we are channeling our terrifier. What this is, this show is, this show is just slapped together with duct tape and, <laughs> and, and boudin, apparently. I don't know what's happening. Uh, so yeah, so spoilers. Man, so, okay. So, good. so, so this movie, uh, you yeah, know, it's about art, the clown and kill why kills. I mean, you're getting art, the clown kill in the first like three seconds of this movie. Practically. It's oh, someone yeah. escaping, I guess, from the first movie. Yeah. It, it picks off from the, don't know, don't care. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't matter. Nothing for the first movie matters for this. Nope. Nothing. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, well, you get a yeah, really one brutal character, kill. but you don't really need it. Yeah. You get a really brutal kill just right from the jump, trying to call on the phone, a lot of teeth getting knocked out. Um, but it's not like it's, it's not like made in the same way. Um, as like the really, really grindhouse stuff. You know what I mean? No, like it's not Herschel Gordon Lewis or something like that. Like it's not that level. It's it's more on the brutal. It's like what a yeah. Halloween movie, like what you might have expected. Oh maybe. yeah, sorry. Yeah, so, like, I mean, it, it's not it's like not, that. Like not, low budget. It, it's, it's not it, comical it, it's, over the top. It's exactly yeah, yeah. It is. It's it's more on the brutal. Like this is happening. Like side. Oh yeah, it it'll set the stage. Is, yeah, yeah. It's it's no joke. So that part of it was was pretty ridiculous. Uh, it was yeah. It, it was real. This this guy with the makeup and the special effects. It's just incredibly good. Yeah, I mean, I mean let's just talk it, about this. It's, it's fantastic. Let's jump into the kills. I mean, because there's a lot. Um, <laughs> which I mean, because yeah. on 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 the surface, I mean, I can come up with a few that just stand out to me. Um, and there's so many, right? But like everything in that one girl's like bedroom where she's like totally flayed and then just, I mean, that's probably the she's, one everyone's going to remember. She is flayed and kept alive for such a long time, long enough for her, uh, long enough for her mom to come back to see her like just clinging to life. It was brutal arms, both arms broken, just cutting like so many places. Yeah, I think her oh, still being alive oh. when the mom showed up. Like you expected the mom to kind of come in and find the the daughter just dead. Yeah, just, no, you know, she she no. goes like gasped and just it was that. I mean, that's the scene. That if you're going to be doing the vomit move, that's the scene right yeah. there. Like that. Well, it. and then that's followed up right with him using a scalpel and literally slicing up across her actual eye and shit. Like, I mean yeah. that that whole sequence is yeah. yeah that's I mean there, there's nothing more. I mean, look, we did we did uh. A bone tomahawk and terrifier one has a similar bone tomahawk murder in there that's somehow worse um this i this may be the most brutal kill i th i mean is it the most brutal kill you've ever seen nay because it's 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 if it's it not is, one it's two it's uh, it is it's up there it is it's really um, up there. yeah. I mean, I I it's don't I I don't really want to watch that again. I'll put it that way. Like I I'll, you know. I did I did watch it again just for just in, in preparation for this. I was like, dang, this is rough, man. Yeah, it's rough. It's rough. Yeah, it's um, a rough one. Now some other kills that happen. I think that just to there's there's quite a bit. Um, the shot the the one mom that gets totally like shotgun blasted in the face and then gets mashed potatoes smeared in it that's not that's not fun uh 
the guy who gets just, the, the guy who are I remember faces like totally just, just pulver. Oh, sorry, which which but, guy? I say just the tip guy. Oh yeah, right well yeah, he gets the penis. That was so directly in the junk, but yeah. then it wrote just the tip on the uh, like mm-hmm. backward apparently, right? Yeah. So she could see it. On the, yeah, on the that one before stabbing him, impressive. That one as a guy, I mean, frankly, we we saw a, like a couple nights later the the hundred like best worst uh, penis, kills. Worst penis yeah. kill. So you know, maybe maybe I'm desensitized to that that particular scene now because of everything else. Oh my god. Um, yeah, that was I don't cool. know that one had as much staying power. It was by the time you get to that one, so much has happened, and you're like, all right. Um, oh man. Yeah, those are the. I mean, those are the the biggest kills. Is there any other ones that stand out to you? Oh, there are so many. Yeah, um, there, I mean, there, I would say, I would say that the kill. Uh, <laughs> there are so many. The kill, like you know, it's it's not just about the kills. So there's a scene with all these gags. This is what this is going to be my debate question. Okay. Art the Clown does all these gags at the Halloween store. No. <laughs> uh, yeah. With seeing the lead actress. It was hilarious. It was hilarious. Actively funny. I laughed. I mean, probably the best scene. In the I movie. laughed. I laughed. Yeah. It's great. He's trying on sunglasses. It was like, uh, you know, like in the 80s where like, you know, you just like people would do just random crap, like cutting across to each time they did it. It was exactly like that. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, and at one point, he goes up to her really slowly and he has the horn and she goes, please don't. <laughs> and she's like so scared to death. She thinks it's really the art clown, which it is. And, she, and he goes, dur, 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 or whatever. And then this guy is just like, stop doing that. You got to pay for that. And then she walks away and he lets her go. And then he, she, he murders that guy. But the murder is like a stab in the head with like a broken bottle, a lot of blood. But then he poses with the head cut off in the display. Like, this is the extra little like I don't know, oh I don't want to say the word hijinks uh, <laughs> that you're getting from this movie, but you're getting hijinks from this movie. I don't know how else to even describe. I mean, yeah, you don't want to get some of the I most brutal don't kills s- ever. I know you don't want to. You're also getting you're hijinks. It. Yeah, yeah, you're you're getting like just like <laughs> and he's laughing all the time, and there, there's some legitimately funny jokes. This this movie's got it's, it's got diversity. It's got some character building. It's got a dance scene on ecstasy. Um, like some good friend bonding on ecstasy. Um, very cool costumes. The costumes are great in this one. Yeah, I like the idea. I like the whole concept of um, that she's like a cosplayer, and so she's making she's making her her Halloween <laughs> costume based on like her dad's like drawings. Um, I thought that was there's really like a cool. supernatural part. There's a supernatural part to that, which I'm not sure what that means. But yeah, there, this movie gets into a lot of supernatural weird stuff. Um, I'm okay with it in this regard because again, I think I think you're you know, you come into this movie just knowing that art's bat shit crazy and all this stuff. So like you almost like just accept it. And that's kind of my point of where where I was kinda of going a little bit with like the Freddy Krueger kind of reference earlier. I think like Freddy Krueger, you don't really question like the first couple the first movie or so, you're not really questioning this shit too much. You're like, oh my god, okay, he just kills you in your dreams and Johnny Depp's over here getting pulled into the bed and now there's a blood, you know, fountain in the bed, you know. Um, you kind of have that similar thing where, like, things are, just, you know, you just kind of accept it. Like, oh, okay, there's, that's weird. <laughs> right? There's this weird little girl that's following him around Look, that looks exactly like him. No explanation for what the fuck she is. She was great, though. Um like every time that little like little it's like, the de- it's like through the dead possum. I think they, school, I think they have the a credit little, in, little brother in yeah, the credits. She, she's listed as like the pale girl or, or so, the pale kid or pale girl. I you mean, every time the, she was on this, I know you, you want the expanded terrifier universe. You want a pale girl movie. No, I don't know though. No, I don't want a pale girl movie. I just, but I mean, every time she's on the screen, you're just like, you're, ri- I mean, riveted, right? You, you want to s- see her. And I think that's, I mean, that's just the mark of a good film is where, Anytime uh, they're on the screen, you're like, what are they going to do next? You know? Um, yeah. This movie has that. Uh, that the scene you described is, is my, I mean, one of my favorite scenes that probably, probably will push this movie over into like, I think that's the point in this movie when I was like, I love this movie. Like, you know, you know, you just kind of walk in. You're like, I just, I just like this movie. No matter what they do from here on, I'm just, I'm all in on this. That was that whole 
Halloween store scene just great. I love the idea it, of, of that, him being a mannequin good. there. Yeah. It's incredibly good. The, yeah. yeah. Um the 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 brother started off kind of a weird angle and then like like first you start thinking he's like some he's gonna be some like weird dark messed up kid and then they kind of change course a little bit uh because he actually <laughs> sees art in person it's like oh yeah no fuck that <laughs> which kind of <laughs> kind of as i say that out yeah. loud it's like oh maybe that was kind of the point because that that seems a little better like he's he's super interested in art and it's kind of like you know how many of us especially you know, I know you 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 have your thoughts on the true crime stuff, but like how many people like kind of, I don't want to say idolize, but you know, they, they do kind of to some degree, like they're like so infatuated with like these serial killers and stuff. And it's like, yeah, if you actually like ran into one of them and like, and you fucking saw like Dom or one of these people like in like the hallway and you're alone. Yeah. You'd probably turn to scared shit real quick. <laughs> uh, <laughs> right. Yeah. Yes. Um, What's the, what's the, what's the saying? Everyone's, everyone's brave until they get, or everyone's uh, cocky until they get punched in the face or something like that. Uh, yeah. I was going to go Luka Doncic. Everybody tough when they up, but there you go. There's that's a, that's any, whatever thing. flavor of that phrase is, is your favorite. Go with it. Um, <laughs> I'm going to go with the, I'm gonna go with the basketball one. So thank you. Thank you. The rest of this episode is just going to be you so. and me just coming up with different ways of saying that same shit. Um, yeah, no, I, I thought she was great. The kid, I think his arc was, all right. Um, you know, again, you, you mostly care about um uh the main actress. I forget her character name in the movie, but uh yeah, her her whole journey and building her up, I think that was really good. And she is, I mean, again, you know, you kind of expect like the acting to You're kind loving of be, this movie, but you don't remember her name. No, because we saw it at midnight. Sienna. Sienna, thank it's you. Sienna, yeah. Very distinctive name. The only reason I remember that. Oh. And her oh. friend is Brooke. Oh. That's it. I got. I got nothing else. I think. No I think you mean her, her friend was Brooke. And her friend was Brooke. She was. She was. She was not a bad actress either. Yeah. No. She. I, it was surprisingly competent for such a low budget. I mean, that's a. I think that's probably what the difference is between this one and the first one, which I did not finish. This is like solid. Well, and I like, think oh, go ahead, the wrapping sorry. around of the Arthur Clown stuff is just not like actively terrible. I mean, it's way too long. But it, there's enough there, and it's not like it's not the best thing in the world. Don't, don't, it's not Get Out or anything like that. But it's not like it's not actively bad. So when things happen, like the character, you know, a couple of the characters here and there, you're like, oh, I'm interested in this. And then Art the Clown kills are ridiculous. I mean, it's it it's it's it's, it's not bad. It's which is surprising. That that's not what I expected going into Terrifier but, two. You I, know, I will say that. Here's the thing, though, Nate. I, and this is where I'm going to argue with you a little bit about. Uh, we'll have a, a late, a late debate round, I guess. Um, I, I argue a little bit about the whole oh, it's no the witch or Get Out and all that. Those movies aren't. I don't know. Some of those movies aren't all that scary, right? Like, do they stick with you? Are they really good horror films? Sure, they're very good horror, like the the elevated shit. But you're, I mean. You're watching that film. You're watching films like The Witch, and you're just kind of like, okay, where are they going with this? You're it's it's that mystery, that build up, and trying to understand. With this movie, I mean, this movie's pretty scary in the sense that the minute you see him on screen, yeah, it's not great. It's you're not just good. tense because you know something bad's going to happen. Like they never, he never just does, or very rarely is he doing like a quick kill. Like he shows up to that one girl, the the girl he mutilates, like. To her house at Halloween, and you're just like, "Oh God, what's ha yeah, you know?" And how many other movies do you kind of see that, right? Like very often, the killer shows up, and it's just like, "Oh, you see, it's it's quick jump scare murder." This is like, there's a whole lot of interaction. You're just sitting there, kind of like yeah, you're, you're just sitting, sitting in it, it you're, like you're screaming, like close. The, I mean, you're yelling at her through the screen, like close the goddamn door, like run, like you're, and you know it's not even going to help anyway. With that's how effective he is as a killer. That's to me a little more scary than some of these like I mean look, I guess if your grandma's in a weird cult, then yeah, hereditary is a terror the most terrifying <laughs> thing you'll ever see, but uh otherwise, you know. And you say, you're saying this movie's better than hereditary. I'm, I'm not it. saying I'm it's better. It. I'm not saying it's better. I am saying that it is maybe a little scarier at times. Like I love hereditary. I I've come a, I've come full circle from that, from me laughing at it loudly in the theater to buying the screenplay. 
Um, yeah. Anyway, I it's, I don't know what else you want to say great. about this. Um, it's it, it's it's good. It, it's I mean, it's not good. Good. Don't get me wrong. For what it is, it's incredible. I uh, think. I think you, they, if you want to hear a quote, if you want to hear a quote from the director, real fast. Sure, I do. Um, so it released 886 theaters uh, in beginning of October, right after we saw the Fantastic Fest. Then it made uh, it made almost like it made eight hundred thousand dollars. Next next week, it made uh, over a million. Um, obviously, now it's up to seven point nine. The fourth weekend it was in 1,500 theaters, so it doubled the theaters. And then uh, Leone said, I did not expect for it to make this kind of splash or play in theaters, honestly, other than maybe a few art house theaters to see it snowballing, the word of mouth growing, people getting sick and fainting. It's really taking off. I never expected this or to make millions of dollars in the theater. But also, there's a Terrifier 3 planned. There's already a treatment, and it's so big, it's going to be 3 probably and 4, Mitch. So you are, we could already be in the Terrifier 4. Uh, I mean, look, if, if, if they, if, if they can lean into what made this good, I, I mean, I don't know how you can do four of these movies that I'm, I'm a little, I'm a little there on four, three. I'm, I'm in four. We have to see, um, cause you know, yeah. Once you get past the, the trilogy, you're, you're, you're starting to look rough, but who knows? We've already kind of got all hollow Z, which is almost a. Yeah, but no one's thing seen anyway. It. No one's seen it. <laughs> That's true. That's true. So, but yeah, this it, is definitely a sophomore. The sophomore effort is definitely better than the first one, I think, universally. So, I mean, that's that's a great start. So, yeah. Yeah. I, I'm yeah. I'm all in. I I think yeah, it'll be interesting where this goes. Um, there's so much. I I don't know how to even describe in a podcast format the the entire psychi- psych psychiatric or psychiatric wing with Chris Jericho and. <laughs> Uh, yeah, there's crazy a crazy lady gives birth to a baby head, gets, and it's it's Art's head that got severed. At yeah, the end of she's this. pregnant, and then there was a dream sequence from the lead actress that was just like your that was your Bray Wyatt playhouse or something, but like with a Tommy gun. Oh, at, at the uh, the the clown cafe. I I really do think like where they needed to shrink it was probably in that final battle. Like that that's the part that I think ran too long in this movie agreed yeah i would say they could have got 30 minutes and it would have been extremely tight um just to get under two hours uh the next movie will not be two hours long according to the director mitch so you should be good well that's good i mean lean again just lean into your strengths lean into what made this movie good and i, I think you i mean yeah art the clown could be two eighty five minute him, movies printing him money yeah, two eighty five minute movies is what i say like perfect all right, well, Nate, look, I got to know what's your final cut. Final cut. <laughs> I want you to go first for this one. Yeah, sure. This is, uh, I mean, this is pretty slam dunk easy for me. You know, it was one of these things, I think, when we heard the Q&A, um, you know, he kind of mentioned that they'd been working on this film for a long time. And, you know, particularly with the challenges of COVID, particularly with, um, just uh, all sorts of logistical things, just, you know, I guess getting, raising the money for just everything that goes into just making a film, particularly a low budget film. That's got no real, like major studio backing or any sort of thing like that. Right. Um, you know, I think we had the world premiere of it and I remember we ran into him in the hallway and I, you know, you and I were kind of just mentioning, you know, I, I'd kind of mentioned, I really loved it. And they were, you know, he was actually asking like Damien Leon was actually like, what you what scenes you liked best? Like you know, I feel like from that Q and A, from those interactions, like you know, he clearly believes in this, and he got everyone on that set to believe in it. And that's why like all the performances are great. Everyone's all in on this. Like no one's half assing it. No one's look. Look at the crew and cast talk about Terrifier, and then imagine Nate the the Q and a we had at bird Demick where they're like making fun of the movie and drinking. Like they're all just like, I know this is a big piece of shit. And so they're half ass. Whereas everyone in this other ones in this other low budget films, like, look, this is crazy, but this might have legs, right? It's believing in that vision. Um, and it's a really fucked up vision, <laughs> but it's super effective. I mean, it, I really like this movie. I, I want to watch it multiple times. Um, this is certainly a, a my type of movie in general anyway. 
Um, I'm giving this. Oh man, I. Uh, oof. I, I'm, I'm, do I go in my head or my heart, Nate? Just follow, just like Art the Clown, follow your heart. Eight out of ten, uh, oh pale girls. God. All right. That's, I don't want to see that search on your phone. All right. That's all uh, yeah. 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 Um, I don't know what, um, there's so many other things I could have probably picked, but we're, <laughs> we're in it now. So just going to lean in. Go ahead, Nate. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm almost, I'm literally almost dead. <laughs> uh, the okay. Well, I'm nowhere near that. So I was thinking. So when I went in the movie. I was thinking like a one or a two, and then watching it, I was like, this is like a three, maybe four. But seeing some of it again, I'm I'm torn between a four and a five, which again, still higher than Halloween. I'm probably gonna go with the <sighs> six. Four. Four. Six. No, go the other way. What's four wrong with out of you? T- oh. four out of ten playings. A movie is just too long. It's way too long. Other than that, it's exciting. There's just a little bit too many lulls with Art the Clown. I need to find a drop that just says "Boo this man." <laughs> it's from it's from half it's from half baked. I know. Uh, I just need the drop. Is all I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, it's good. I it's it's like one of my happier fours. All right, what is that five. even? I'm gonna go with the five. I'm gonna mean? go with the five. I'm gonna go with the five. Five out of ten, yeah. right in the middle. But I expected it to be a one or a two. So there you go. That five means you should give ten. it an extra point. Six out of ten from Nate. All right, no. mark it in the book. Five out of ten. Uh, in three weeks, there, I'm gonna go. In three weeks, I'm gonna there's go like into our a database supernatural and change sword. It, so it there's, there's a supernatural sword. I don't even know what the hell that don't was about. Worry about it, Nate. So yeah, I'm gonna go with the five. But five out of ten flings. I mean. Art the Clown is is doing it this one. Um, I want uh, okay, you know what? Here's the thing. I want some of y'all to, to grill Nate on this. Like he giving him this, he's getting like leather comms, like sevens and eights. There was no grill kill in this one, so there's opportunity for the third one. <laughs> like every time I give something a shit or like a, a a shit movie, I get a message like just to, just to be clear, Midge rated Santa Jaws higher as, than this, and, and usually one hundred percent correct. And I stand by that. Uh, but uh, yeah, I would like I would like someone. I mean, if you love Terrifier too, give Nate some shit about how his poor ranking. I mean, I don't know. I'm just gonna assume it's the uh, the the med- the cold medicine talking Nate, and I'll just bump up your score later. Uh, you should you should be a Lannis Morissette because you ought to know, Mitch. So. Uh-huh. Nate, where can they find us? You, you, you can find us at TX Podcast on Twitter <laughs> until we have to pay money for it, in which case we probably won't do that anymore. Right. Uh, Texas Podcast Massacre everywhere else. Uh, give us five star review on Apple Podcasts, uh, Spotify, Stitcher, any podcast platform of your choice. We will review your movie, even if it's Terrifier 1. We're doing Joyride. Joyride's still on the list. I haven't, I tried to Joyride away from it. It is not happening. Um, three four six two four six three one four three for the voicemail. Would love to hear some voicemails from people who uh, have seen the film in theaters. Did you see anyone vomit? We were we were in the non-vomiting group. We were in the yeah. milkshake drinking group, just because that everyone knew what they were getting into. Yeah, at, at midnight on the first night of Fantastic Fest. What a first day! Oh yeah, smile, smile. Was terrifier too. It was something. We went um, into that first day thinking these movies are gonna suck, and, <laughs> and they did not suck. They did not. Neither of them sucked. Yeah, it was, it was strong, great. It was a strong day. Um, so uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, give us a call on that. I'd be interested to hear. And then uh, yeah, we got we got some more more recent movies coming, and then of course Joyride. Unfortunately, is uh, I'm worried that Joyride yeah, is like. It's incredible. Well, there's like, there's, there's that there's it. an SNL skit uh, that Keenan Thompson used to do that was the um, what's up with that, and they, they'd always bring out uh, Lindsey Buckingham as the guest, and they would never get to him. They'd always run out of time, and but they would keep inviting yeah. him, and he'd keep showing up. I feel like that's how the uh, the person who requ- who gave us the review, and it's like, oh, sorry, we just didn't get to the wrong term. Well, ne- maybe next time, next time we'll get to it, and we just keep not doing. It. We will do it, um, Nate. Uh, it's there. It's there. It's, it's on there. the list. It's there. It's there. Um, well, Nate, hopefully you feel better. Um, hopefully all hopefully of you out you there have yeah. checked your candy and you're enjoying it. Your your Halloween spoils. Um, I will say I, I said started this episode with a with a negative on kids in terms of 
their sickness factories. Um, but they will clean up for you at Halloween. Um, so you know, okay, it's, but you're so basically you you're, out of it. You do get. I mean, basically, as like unpaid like labor, and you're you're great. You're you're pretty much Willy Wonka at that point. Uh, also, solid uh, Halloween idea. Um, just, the, Johnny just, De- the, the Johnny Depp one. Less less solid if you go that route, but it is an idea. From, from all of us here at Texas Podcast Massacre. Thank you so much for tuning in and just keep telling yourself it's only a movie. Good night. <laughs>